Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I just did a rather dark reading on Harry and uh, his marijuana um, usage. And so I'm going to do a dark reading on Megan, but this one is really different. I'm going to ask the cards that is, this is hard for me to articulate. So I'm going to try my best. So stay with me. We know Megan wears hair extensions, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. And we know those hair extensions and or wigs. I should re remember, too, that she does wear wigs. So the wigs and hair, hair extensions, we know where that hair comes from. And it comes from poor girls in India uh, who sell their hair to feed themselves or to feed their families. So I want to ask the cards... Those extensions and wigs that my sources tell me that she wears, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, do they carry an energetic profile and are they cursing her? Now, if you wear extensions, um, this is no slight to you. I'm not, I'm not judging people who wear extensions whatsoever. So I thought the Bohemian Gothic Tarot... And the dark mirror, I forgot to uh, read the dark mirror on Harry's, but that's okay. I guess the universe didn't want me to. So the hair extensions and or wigs that Megan wears, does that hair have an energetic profile that, you know, you think about it. Those girls are poor. Uh, they come from very disadvantaged uh, situations. I mean, they're selling their hair to for money. Um, they may co be coming from abusive situations. Uh, they may be coming from filthy situations. Uh, they may be forced to grow their hair to you know, and and, and then sell it. Um, it could be a lot of different situations. And so, I want to ask the cards: Do the hair extensions and wigs that Megan uses? Uh, do they carry energetic profiles from the girls that the hair came from? And is that why um, Megan has such bad luck? Because you couldn't obviously say those girls have good luck. <laughs> so let's ask. So those, ooh. Eight of Pentacles. The Empress in Reverse and the Tower. There's the girls that work for growing the hair for Empress and the Tower. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cards are ready. I think they figured it out. Okay, Nine of Swords in Reverse. Well, there is absolutely some kind of anxiety. There's some kind of anxiety. You even think of the anxiety of those poor girls being shaved. Like they're shaved, bald. Uh, they, it's not like they leave them a bob and just take the end bits. No, they shave them bald. And then there's that anxiety of walking around bald. Everybody knows you had to sell your hair. Um, also the humiliation of it. Five of Wands in reverse. There is actually some anxiety. There's some um, uh, stress, let's just say. Page of Swords and Page of Cups in reverse. I think they're young girls that, this, that these hairs are taken off of. Ace of Cups upright. Ace of Cups upright. Well, let's look at this. I think that in some respects, the girls are grateful that they get some money. Um, maybe they do give the hair with love. Uh, maybe it is an offering. Uh, maybe they are happy that they've got money to feed their children or feed themselves. Um, let's see, the hermit in reverse. The Hermit in Reverse is a feeling of alone. Six of Wands in Reverse. Six of Cups in Reverse. 
Um, I'm not getting that it's huge bad luck at all. The lovers in reverse. Uh oh. The fool. These girls have no choice. They have no choice. They actually, I think, with this hermit here, I don't think this is hairy at all. I think this is the feeling that they have. They're all alone. There's no other way to support themselves. They have no family. Six of Cups here in reverse. Six of Wands. Like they, this is all they have to offer is their hair. And so they have no choice here. The lovers up. The lovers is also called the choice. Um, so I'm thinking here, they do have a struggle with letting go of the hair with the fool here. Um, I think they do feel a little bit embarrassed, uh, but they know that their hair will grow back. They know their hair will grow back. Three of wands in reverse. And the hierophant. I think there's somebody in um, like just who rules these girls almost getting like a hair farm kind of thing. They don't know where their hair goes to. Um, they, they know it's, it's made for wigs and they, and they honestly really don't care. It's not like they're looking across the seas and wondering who has their hair. They, they really don't. Um, they may be given something to make their hair grow faster. I don't know if that's even possible, but I think here, I think, we might be looking into this a little bit. Like I said, this is just something that popped in my head. I think that these girls have some relief that they're getting some sort of money. Now, that being said, how much money do you see here on the table? We don't have one pentacle, not one. I think, you know, somebody, here's the higher fat. That could be like the... Um, leader of, let's say, the orphanage that they live in or the home that they live in or the religious leader that they have, the world. There's no end of this, right? Their hair grows and grows and grows and grows. I don't think they get a lot of money here. We finally have a pentacle and it's in reverse, four of pentacles. Ace of wands and the sun, the high priestess. I honestly, I don't think there's any kind of energetic. We've got the Hierophant and the High Priestess here. Um, so I wonder if they do some sort of cleansing ritual on it, especially here with the Ace and the Sun. Those are both fire signs. Um, so I wonder if they, of course, they can't put fire to it. <laughs> it would burn the hair, right? Um, I think they do something to it, maybe hold it in the sun for a while um, to cleanse it. I can't imagine um, that they that they would do anything. Um, like I said, they can't burn it or anything, but maybe they put you know some kind of incense on it. A lot of beautiful incense comes from uh, India, and I think they cleanse it in some regards. I think what they do is they cleanse it. Also, they would want to cleanse it energetically to make sure that. Um, they get the best money for it, right? It's also part of their uh, belief that if it's cleansed and it's and it's uh, has good energy, then it's going to bring more money to them. So I, I'm seeing here, especially with the high priestess and the hierophant, um, I think we see a lot of of praying or. Um, just even with this sun card here that they make sure it's cut at the perfect time of day. We know they follow the hours of the day uh, very closely. Um, they follow uh, where where the zodiac is very closely. And so that's where I'm getting here with the sun. Uh, I think that they are very careful, very, very careful with the Hierophant and the High Priestess here. Um, let's get the dark mirror. So how does Megan feel about wearing somebody else's hair? Oh, look at that. Three. Clock wants me to take three. And just so you know, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like people wonder about the clock. It's just, it rings when it wants to. So the cards, want, the clock wants me to take three. How does Megan feel about wearing someone else's hair? 
queen of my world. You can't make this up. Bride in a cage. <laughs> oh my goodness. And in reverse, parasite. Wow, you can't make this up. Look at that. And there she is in that red dress. How many times has she worn a long red dress? And there she is with the long black hair. She actually feels beautiful when she wears this hair. She feels queen of my world. <laughs> Full moon, queen of my world. She's the queen of her. She actually probably feels younger because we have a 24 here. And so that would obviously make her feel like she's 42. Um, so there, look at that. You can't make it more clearer than that. The long, dark hair and her, her and her red uh, queen of the world. Bride in a cage. I think this tells us that she knows she has to wear those wigs and um, extensions that she's already put out to the world, that that's what her hair looks like. So that's what she has to wear. Also, bride in a cage is how she, you know, she feels trapped by it now. Like she, um, yeah, like she, you know, she's this princess bride and now she's in a cage and she almost has to wear these wigs now. It's not even an option anymore. If she were to come out with what her real hair looked like, it'd be quite a bit shorter, quite a bit thinner, certainly wouldn't be the long curls that she portrays. Also, um, uh, look, this almost looks like that white dress she was wearing in Nigeria. Um, but she's trapped now. She has to wear these wigs uh, forevermore. Well, while she's a public figure. And look at this parasite but it's in reverse she doesn't feel like a parasite she feels like she's helping these girls um and and in some way she is and if we look the moons here are the same they mirror each other rather than um being opposite if they were up upright so um she feels like she doesn't feel like a parasite at all she doesn't feel like she's doing anything bad to these girls at all um and and, and the cards show I mean, they aren't getting much money for their hair, but they're somewhat grateful that they're getting something for it. And it's better than nothing because uh, they actually have no other options. Uh, but I'm not getting that there's any kind of energetic transfer whatsoever. I feel like Megan has trapped herself now and she doesn't feel bad about it at all. Not at all. Um, not at all. She probably feels like she's empowering these women. But yeah, now she has to wear those wigs now forevermore. Um, it's just like, you know, now she has to bronze her face forevermore. Uh, I think uh, she's trapped herself into that. Well, that was kind of interesting, something a little bit different. At least I thought it was. What did you think? Uh, you know, uh, you know, something a little bit different talking about that. I just wish you'd wash those damn wigs. <laughs> they look so filthy. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I know you have other tarot card readers to watch. And the fact that you spend your time with me is so appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <coughs>